Good morning everyone. Our topic is movie rental system. In this video, we will be explaining the case study, the schema, ER, EER and the normalization. Our team members include Divyanshi Kapoor, Smaran Das, Uday Chaudhary and Uday Jain. Now the case study states that the movie are rented out in stores and there are several such stores. Each store has a unique distributor that supplies the store with tapes. A distributor may also supply more than one store. Now each distributor has a name an address and a phone number. The same for the store, like each store has a name, an address and a phone number. Now for each employee, we must keep the following information. The store in which that employee is working, named as the working store, a name, a supervisor, an address, a phone number, SIN, that is the social insurance number, a date when the employee was hired. Now for each customer, we have to keep the following information, a name, an address and the phone number, if any. If any means the Phone number doesn't have to be compulsory. It can be null as well. Now for each rental, we must keep track of which employee served the customer, which movie and which copy the customer rented, information about payment, the date and the time of the rental, the status, the means it, if it is rented, returned in time or returned late, the rate and if applicable due charges and overdue charges. About the payment, we have to keep which of the employees accepted the payment. It doesn't have to be the same employee who rented the tape. The type of payment that is cash, check, credit card or debit card. Now for each type, you must provide for relevant information to be kept. That is, uh, for example, credit card number if credit card is used, check number if check is used, the amount of payment, date and time of the payment, payment status and completed if cash or the money has been received, approved if debit or credit card go through pending if the check has not declared yet. About each tape, we have to keep the following information in what condition the tape is and what movie is on the tape. Now for each movie, we have to keep its title, the director's name, simple description and the name of the major actor that is the main character and movie's rating from 1 to 5. Now we have broken down the question into simple entities and their attributes like the store and with their attributes the employee with attributes, the customer with their attributes, the tape with attributes, movie and the renting. Also the payment information with its attributes. We have also made certain assumptions like we have added additional attributes to all the entities that may serve as primary key to identify each tuple in the relation. The payment information has not been detailed. That is, we don't know what exactly we need in the different forms of payment. So we have added additional attributes to the various forms of payment like card, for card, we have added type, whether it is debit or credit, a card number and expiry date. For check, we have added bank name and check number. And for cash, we don't need any additional details other than the original payment attributes. Thank you, Udit, for explaining the question. As Udit, and now to build upon what Udit has explained, the question is divided into seven major entities, distributor, store, employee, tape, rent, customer and payment. One thing to note here is that we have added an assumption and have added an ID attribute to all entities to act as the key attribute as we did not find the original attributes in the question to suffice the conditions of being a key attribute. Now to explain the relationships between the entities. Each distributor has one to many stores and it is total participation on the store side store further has two relationships with them one with employee one with tape store has a total participation with one to many relationship to employee the second relationship is one is to many to tape with total participation on tape side the tape further has a min max notation with rent with rent being 0 to 1 and 1 is to 1 tape in conditions where the tape is not being rented the rent case won't exist hence the 0 the rent further has two relationships one with customer one with payment the customer pays n rents as in the customer can pay more than one rent, but a rent can only be paid by one customer. 
the rent is processed by one payment further moving on on the er the in the er we have kept all the relationships intact as in the er explained the only additions are the super class person place with the common attributes name address phone in the following four entities distributor customer employee and store one more addition in the er is that we have added a sub class to payment with card and check one more thing to note the question did not specify what type of data would be required for the specific type of payments for example in debit card or credit card payments what type of data do they want us to store so we have added the basic data which one would like to store for example the card number the type credit or debit and expiry for check the check number bank and for cash payments they would be distinguished at the payment level only no additional data is required hence no subclass in this video we are going to discuss about the database schema its implementation using sql queries and the data population using sql insert statement a database schema contains the design or list of attributes and instructions that tells the database engine how the data is organized and how the components are related the project here is the movie rental system wherein the movies are rented out in stores and there are several stores each store has a unique distributor that supplies the store with tapes a distributor may supply more than one store each distributor has a name an address and a phone number the distributor table also contains distributor id as a primary key next up we have the store table each store has a name an address and a phone number the store id is the primary key of the store table and the distributor id is its foreign key which stores which distributor supplies this particular store for the employee table we must keep the following information the working store or the store id a name a supervisor an address a phone number and a social insurance number and the date when the employee was hired the employee table also contains employee id as a primary key and supervisor and store id as the foreign keys the supervisor a foreign key relates to the employee table itself wherein a particular employee is a supervisor of another employee now for the customer table we have to keep the following information a name an address and a phone number if any the customer id acts as a primary key for the customer table for the rent table we must keep track of which employee served the customer which movie and which copy the customer rented information about payment the date and time of the rental the status means rented or returned in time or returned late the rate that is the price and if applicable due date and overdue charges about the payment table we have to keep which of the employee accepted the payment uh, it does not have to be the same employee who rented the tape the type of payment that is the cash or check or credit card or debit card for each type we must provide for relevant information to be kept so we have split the payment table into two more types which is the card or check the third type which was the cash does not require any additional information so we have waived it out the card table contains the payment id which relates to the uh, payment id for the payment table the type of payment that is debit card or credit card the card number and the expiry date of the card for the check payment we have kept the payment id which relates to the payment table the bank and the check number now next up we have the tape which contains the tape id of the movie the store id where it is kept the rent id of the tape the title of the movie the director star rating description and condition of the tape the title director star rating and description refers to the movie whereas the condition refers where wherein the uh, is there a movie in the particular store or not so 
till now we have discussed the schema of the project next up we have the sql commands wherein we have created the tables using the create table command the create table distributor command uh, which contains the distributor id the name address phone and the primary key as a distributor id the customer table we have created then we have created the employee table which has the employee id as a primary key the foreign key supervisor references employee back as a recursive relation wherein employee id is uh, taken as the key next up we have the store table the rent table the tape table the payment table the card table the check table next we have inserted data or populated our database with the different distributors uh, the distributor ids their names their addresses and the phone numbers we have taken the customers their customer id their names their addresses and their phone numbers next up we have the employees we have taken their employee id their names the store where they work in then the supervisor then their addresses then their phone number and the date when they were hired and so on we have inserted in the store table and we have inserted in the payment table wherein we have inserted the payment id the employee which took the payment uh, whether the status is completed or pending or it is approved and the payment type the card table wherein uh, the different cards are fed and the check table wherein different checks are fed uh, so this was the schema its implementation and the population thank you so much